Hello, this video that I'm doing today is on an application called VidTrim, um, and it is a video trimmer, um, and there is a free version here that I have uh, off to the left, and a pro version here that's off to the right. I have the uh, pro version installed on my phone. Um, can show you um, ultimately some of the things um, it can do. Um, you know, you can go into the app and see it a little better. So, um, when you go into the app, the first thing you get is this screen. Um, if you tap that, it is how you um, sort the app how you sort the videos. Um, you can search for videos um, this way. Um, it gives you the recent ones and if it's not recent you can click here and go into different options to find videos. You can get them from your drives um, and you can get them from internal storage, external storage, whatever you have available. Um, just the group of videos that you may have on the list. It's the same videos that are in my recent. You can go about it that way if it's not listed here um, with these videos. Um, this is um, some settings, some very simple settings here. And information, which of course is about the app and um, a website uh, for the app itself. So in order to get started, um, you have to uh, choose a video. So I'm going to go into the folder because I know exactly where it's located and um, it'll be easier for me to find it that way because sometimes some videos um, look exactly the same. So um, I know how it was uh, set up in video player, the first one, um, and it's telling me that it can't open it, which I've never experienced before, so uh, let me try going back to my file explorer, and we'll go into and sort this way, and I'll just double check and make sure that it's there. Okay, and it plays. So let's go back and see why video trim. Um, let's go to my skills that I've selected from here. Okay, so all depending on what you want to do with the video, um, you can trim it, you can uh, save different frames. So you can actually save pictures from your videos. Um, you can uh, get the audio track from it. Um, you can make it an MP3 and just get the audio. Um, the settings here. Um, you get to choose the video size and the video quality, the video type there. And um, you can just select trim, which is what we want. So one of the things you do is you can try to find the space. I have an idea of where I want to trim it. So you can slide your bar across. And I want to cut the front of this video out because I've already um, trimmed the back. And I want to put something in between these two portions of the video. Um, so, I believe this is uh, where I can see if I want to start. So, quieting 51, 52. 
1053 is where I would like it to go. So we can try to get it. There it is. So once I slide it to 1053, I do trim. And I want to uh, save it as a new clip, but you can also trim the original. So if you're not trying to do something else with the video and you just need a piece cut off, you can trim the original. But I want to save a new clip um, because I'm using the front and the back end. I'm actually sticking a video in the middle of it. Uh, and then you can re review, view your result, which is by doing the same thing. You press the scissors and it presses play. So I got to see how it started, which is pretty great. And um, if you want to get to the video, um, you go into whatever your file browser is. Um, so I go into my file browser and um, oh, press the wrong thing. Uh, and I scroll down to um, Video Trim Pro. So it creates its own folder, which I love that when applications do that because it's just easier to find them. I hate when they do it inside of like pictures folder or music folder because I may not want it to go there. I may be doing, using it for a different purpose. So it created its own folder. You go inside and it is the, um, it still keeps the original name um, unless you, I don't think you can change it. I didn't see anything to change the name. So it was done with my C, uh, my SDR um, screen recorder. So even though I made a new one, it saves it. So it kind of lets you know the source, um, where it got it from. And it's in its own folder, so it's not like it can be confusing. So it kept the original uh, file name and um, the uh, video that I, the beginning that I trimmed is actually beside it. I've already renamed it so that I wouldn't be confused when it came time to merge them all. Um, and that's a uh, vid trim pro um, pretty much in a nutshell um, it's a really great application it's simple um, it's not very complicated and if you want to trim your video there you have it you just trim it I know that there's a lot of apps that do all of that where they trim they flip they um, transition but what I found sometimes is um, it may be easier for your phone to have six different applications to edit your programs than to try to uh, edit, I mean, to edit your videos than to try to edit all of your videos inside of one application. Um, that's what I'm finding to be true for myself. Um, someone else uh, may find it better, but I haven't all one, all, any of those all in one applications that I found, they just take too long or they do funky things to your video, like if you wanted to flip it vertical, it flips it upside down. If you want to merge, it merges them in the wrong order, flips one upside down, and then adds the audio in the wrong spot because it's just trying to do too much stuff um, at once. So for my life, to make my life simpler, I kind of like to have a one-shot deal thing going. So i rather merge with one application, trim with another application. i rather flip with another application and then get all of my videos uploaded in a separate video uh, in a separate application um, so this is a vid trim pro um, there once again there is a free version um, and I hope that this video helps someone thank you for watching bye bye